things that she couldn't just make up. There are things that are coming from your loved ones. She still hears you singing, whatever that means. Do you get that? We went, I met her at a concert. Okay. So she still hears you singing. Did you guys sing songs together? There was something with the sing. So she's saying, I still hear you singing. She said, and you gave me more courage than you will ever know. Do you understand that? He's saying, no. Mm. Oh my goodness, we are looking at Patty Griffin. Yeah. And uh, we have, um, we're kind of caught off guard here, psychic yeah. medium. <laughs> Great to have you back here on CT Style. Absolutely. So, so that was a quick clip from one of your sessions. Uh, you're, you're located right here in Connecticut. We love having you here on the show to kind of talk about the, the sense that you have and how intriguing it is. But we just had a moment off camera before this segment uh, that I think you guys should share. Okay, absolutely. Do you want me to start? Yeah, well, you were saying how you were getting the, you've got to kiss the girl from the Little Mermaid, mm -hmm. and you thought maybe it's Ryan. But then I said, Brandon, my husband, plays that song on his guitar to my babies. Absolutely. So that is crazy. When was how, the last time you heard anything about the Little Mermaid? Uh, or that song specifically. That's so right? random. So you just thought about it, like... Pops into, po these just pops into your head? I literally seen the little crab singing. <laughs> And I was like, who does it belong to? I knew it belonged to one of you guys. And I just heard them saying, kiss the girl. You got to kiss the girl. Wow. <laughs> That's like wild. That is incredible stuff. And, and it's nuts because you, get, you come on the show and there's always something different. But these things, as they were saying in the video, they're, they're so specific. And, uh, it, it's, it's she just, wouldn't know any of right. this stuff, right? It's just I like mind-boggling. And this has been happening your whole life, Patty? It has. It wasn't until about five years ago that I realized to what extent. But my whole life, I would know things that I shouldn't know. Mm. But, and, and not to play off of the movie, but you have said at times that you can see things. And I mean, what, what's that like for you? Does that freak you out a little bit? Or are, are, are you used to seeing these beings? I'm used to it now. So it did freak me out at first. I think that's why it took me so long to go into it professionally, because I was afraid of it. Mm -hmm. But now I'm so used to it. It's like, OK, you know, but I was very afraid of it. Can you shut it off? Can you just say not right now? No, you cannot. You kind of have to honor it when it you comes. Do. I see. So you, they're very respectful. Like they don't kind of come and say, "Oh, read this person and read that person," but you can't turn it off. And we're looking at video. You were at. You have big groups. Uh, you have events that people can come and check out. I do. I have my first stage event coming up in Southbury, which I'm really excited about. I'll be on the stage for the first time. Wow. <laughs> it's, it, it's so incredible. I've been to one of your sessions, and w when you're in there, as you can see in the video, you walk around the room and talk to different people, and it's just like at an instant you say one word or make a connection with somebody, and all of a sudden they're bawling, and it's, it's such an emotional, moving moment for everybody, and you feel so connected to that person who's making that connection. What's the experience like for you? Because you're able to pay it forward to so many people to help them connect with their loved ones. It feels great to be able to heal people and help them. It's kind of I'm humbled by it. You know, I'm still amazed every day that I'm able to do this. Mm -hmm. Are you getting any vibes right now as you sit on the couch? She mentioned that she uh, sees us as a married couple because right. we spend so much time together. That's a compliment, I guess, right? <laughs> I'll take it. Right. Yeah, well, right. well, meaning when I, when I read one of you, yeah. I don't know which one it goes to we're because we're so close. We're so close. Get it. Uh, I wow. yeah. And, so, and, and you I get can get readings from other people in the room, like your son is over there. Mm -hmm. what, what is it like with your family? I mean, you, you're still a mom. You're, you're still a wife. What does your family think of it? Um, my daughter thinks it's the greatest thing because she'll ask me to read every situation. Does this boy like me? Oh. Uh. This <laughs> I can see you're taking advantage of that, right? So Definitely. I'll wait for the text to come. Mom. Yeah, so, so cute. But, but it's not just an instant thing. I mean, sometimes it takes longer. You have to go through a lot of questions, things like that. Mm -hmm. It is. It's a process because, you know, because they're giving you real life memories to let you know they're with you, it doesn't just come and they give one word and it comes. So it, it is a process sometimes. Wow. And, and you hear it all the time? All the time. I, I don't know mm. if I'd be able to... Function to, as right, a normal... Right, get through life. Right, to, to get through your job and everything that you have to do day to day. Wow, so, so it's pretty wild. So people can actually come to you for these group sessions or private sessions. What do you recommend people do if, if they want to connect with a loved one or uh, they, they just feel the need to? What do you recommend? You mean versus gallery versus a private reading? Yeah, or, or, or just to get in contact with you. Oh, they could go on to my website, mm -hmm. www.pattygriffinmedium.com, mm -hmm. or they could um, give me, a, you know, email me, sure. and uh, they could set up a session. And I tell people if they're nervous, come to the galleries, because then they could see how it works and see other people. They mm -hmm. could see the process. Right. When will you be in Southbury? I will be in Southbury on March 15th at 6 o'clock, which I'm really excited about, at the Riverview Cinema 8. Sure. So it's a beautiful theater. 
Very nice. We'll All have to right. grab our tickets for that. And we, we have about a minute and a half here left in the show. So we figure maybe we could let you freestyle a little bit and try to get Is some readings. Or, I don't know. I'm, I'm just making up new terms for the uh, psychic medium uh, uh, industry here, I guess. Okay. When you say freestyle, you mean like just start reading you yeah, guys? Yeah, yeah. If it's possible. I know every situation is different, but... Okay, sure. And it's really hard to do it in that slow time. But, Teresa, before, mm -hmm. I have somebody that has either a Alzheimer's or something with dementia that I have to acknowledge, and I feel like it goes to you unless it goes to Ryan. But you understand that? I might. Yeah, I might. Okay, sure. and sometimes they'll give, like, a date of something or they'll give something like that, but I have to mention, and they could, it goes so quick, I have to mention the month of March or the number three, and I don't know if that goes with your siblings or something with a birthday or an anniversary that I have to acknowledge. Okay, March, I'll think about that. Okay. Think about it. Okay, and what's the down south connection that they keep mentioning to me, and why do they keep mentioning Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina? South Carolina, my grandfather, uh, grandfather right? just moved up there. Okay, all right. So living with us. Wow. wow. Okay, all right. So they he would be. my grandma. Okay, so they would be acknowledging that. So are you supposed to wear something in honor of her? Are, are you supposed to wear like a piece of jewelry? Or something? I'm, I'm oh, I book. do have a piece of jewelry, but we're going to run out of time. Okay. We're going to wrap this up. Okay. Thank so you for nice. watching. Okay. Oh.